All right, where were we? Um, so I uh, cut out the majority of the transfers that I would need. As you can see, they're sitting right over here. Um, and to show you how I cut them out, I kind of have this one. Let me just unplug my phone out of the room. And I had to make this neat little phone holder um, yeah, for obvious reasons. Um, so basically all I did was I just cut the section that I was going to be using. And then you just kind of very carefully separate them like this. And you kind of keep them off to the side. Um, one of the things that I am going to tell you is to make sure you keep this transfer sheet away from this waterish pad. Um, and uh, just in case you were curious why, I cut out a section that I'm never going to use of those awesome dark angels and salamanders. So let's say you just leave this, this sheet sitting here, you don't really pay attention to it. As you can see, it's already starting to change color, and once it starts to do that, it's already soaking up the water. Um, and that's bad. And focus. Um, and at this point, those transfers are basically it's use it or lose it. That they're gone. This water is going to eventually soak up the rest of the pad. And watch how fast this stuff absorbs water. It's already changing colors and it's already starting to warp. Um, so these are basically toast, which is okay because well, I don't play those. Somebody else's problem. Um, so I decided I was going to add some onto the sponsons as well, each side's gonna get one, as well as I swapped um, uh, turret pieces out because I decided something would go really nice on the assault cannon uh, if I wanted to run that. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll basically, uh, we'll start with the sides here um, and go from there. So you just pick it up, set it on the pad, um, this is something I like to do, I'm about to show you, is I have my little tray of water. And I like to just take, you know, like a good size detail, well not detail, um, like a wash brush or something, and just add a little bit of water to the top um, along the edges where the decal um the top sheet can absorb water. Um, if you put it directly on top of the decal, it's not going to do anything because of the coating that's on there. Um, so that's kind of a loss. Um, so basically once you get it, you're going to just kind of raise the lip of the decal up. So that way you're holding it by the paper and not the actual physical decal. I'm going to put a drop of water on here to help with the uh, placement. Um, and then basically at this point it's just a matter of just sliding the decal. Just very carefully ease it off. We don't want to tear it. Now it's not perfectly centered as you can see, but what you do is because it's still wet, you just kind of prod it in the direction that you want it to go. So I still want it to keep scooting over. So I'm just going to keep manipulating it until I get it to where I want it. Like, we'll just tip this one end down just a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. All right, so we'll let it sit for a second and then I'm just going to blot it with my wet paper towel. Not too much. Um, and then just let it sit for a second. As it starts to dry and the water starts to come off of it, um, I'm gonna pat it down again. And that's gonna force any air bubbles that are underneath of this um, out. Also, we'll do the same thing. Where's my other white one? There it is. Pick it up, set it on, get some water on there. Uh, again, this is just helping speed up the water getting on the decal. Um, again, some more water over the the gloss gloss mat. Um, and then I also want to pay attention as to where I line this decal up. So the bottom of the blood drop 
is roughly in between these two notches here. So I'm gonna try and pay attention to that when I put this one on, because I'm pretty big on the symmetry um, portion of the decal. Okay, so now it just needs to be manipulated again. So we'll go ahead and bring it up. Okay, it's actually pretty close. You know, I'm actually just gonna leave it right there. That actually works really well. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to blot it. And this one tore a little bit. Um, I'm not sure when. Let me see if it'll focus. If you look, that one wing is missing. God, why am I shaking? The one wing is missing. Um, and I don't even care. That's good enough for me, honestly. Um, I can work that into with some blending um, to just kind of be battle damage or something. Um, so we're basically set with those two for now. Um, and it looks like I'm an amazing painter. So uh, we'll come on to this next piece. We'll go ahead, get some more water on it, change focus. Um, and this one I wanted to do a black. Um, I had a choice of a black and a yellow uh, small blood angel uh, symbol. Um, and I thought the yellow would be too much with the yellow, like the bonish yellow from the skull, so I just left it as black. Um, I would have preferred to have white, but I think I don't. I don't want to have too much white going on. I don't have too much black going on, and I already got four black symbols. Plus, there's going to be a white symbol up here and a yellow symbol up here. So. Um, Got to keep that in mind when you're applying decals is what color is to what you're painting is to, you know, everything in between. Okay. And same thing. And this one's being super finicky. All right, and we got it on there. We can just add some water and tell where we want it to go. Let's take some of this water away. The nice thing is we have a nice straight line that we can go off of. Um, which is the line of the skull and then the line of the uh, uh, actual plastic bit itself. So we kind of have a really easy way of lining it up just like this. Um, and so we're going to leave that. Blot it down once, let it be. Um, and you're just going to continue this as you go. Um, obviously the bigger pieces are going to be a lot easier to apply um, because I'll just set up the Imperial Eagle so that it's somewhere centered here and somewhere centered here. Um, and the same thing goes with the two pieces that will go on top of the light fixtures. Uh, those will be pretty easy. The only ones that are going to be kind of a, a pain are going to be the ones right in right in here because I'm going to have to make sure they're centered. Um, again, it's just an OCD thing um, and we'll go from there. So I'll show you what it looks like at the after all the decals are on.